गुड मॉर्निंग टूडेज वीडियो इज अबाउट एटीन टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स एंड हैक्स ऑन हाउ टू वेक अप अर्ली इन द मॉर्निंग आई प्रोमिस दीज हैक्स आर गोन आर डू वंडर्स दे विल वर्क दे विल डू द जॉब ओके सो हाई माई नेम इज श्रीदिप्ता श्रीदिप्ता नाग एंड दिस इज माई चैनल ए टू जेड विथ मिस नाग मिस नाग दैट्स मी या सो आई हैड अपलोडेड अ वीडियो asking people to make uh, video requests and this guy whose name i don't remember i'm sorry but he made a request he told me to make a video on my morning routine then i thought that you no know, like many people struggle with this thing that they cannot wake up early in the morning so i thought i will make a video on hacks and tricks on how to wake up early in the morning so people will get benefited from that and then after they get used to waking up early in the morning they can see my morning routine video and get inspired from them that will also help them so let's go to the video so point number 1 get out of your comfort zone you know like practicing something new is always uncomfortable like leaving your bad habits leaving your cozy comfy warm bed it's difficult but first thing you have to keep in mind is that you cannot be in love with your comfort zone anymore hmm? okay comfort is always not the best option sometimes hard work can lead to tremendous improvements miraculous things in your life okay so get that in your mind point 2 take uh, take a paper and write on it the reason of your waking up like uh, suppose you want more time for work or you want to go to swimming gymming running jogging walking anything whatever it is there has to be some reason right that's why you have tuned in to this video so go and write it down and keep reading this keep reading it to yourself keep reminding yourself that this is the reason why i want to wake up early in the morning and also write down the benefits that you will have after you get in this habit of waking up in the morning okay so that's point number 2 now point number 3 when you wake up in the morning you will feel tired but start the very day start from today only like there is no okay i'll start from tomorrow i'll start from to uh, that day no don't do that start as early as possible asap okay as soon as possible like from today only you are gonna do this hmm? i i mean like if today it's already evening and you're watching this then tomorrow yeah like in that case tomorrow like start from the nearest morning okay from the closest morning and wake up no matter what if you even if you don't feel like if if you're feeling tired don't let those things stop you from waking up early in the morning okay okay point 4 never ditch your alarm never ever ditch your alarm put an alarm and set it and if when it rings you will have to keep in mind that you'll have to get up you cannot say like oh let the alarm ring or i'll put off the alarm and then i'll keep on sleeping no okay never ditch your alarm that's point 4 point 5 Point five is also related to your alarm only. You know we have this tendency when we are feeling very sleepy, then nothing may be working for us. Okay, we cannot stay motivated. Maybe like in the morning we there's zero motivation for us. So we really need something to push us out of the bed. What can that be? Keep your alarm clock or if you're setting your alarm on the phone, keep it at a distance. Like maybe in the next room or at a far away distance from your bed and the opposite end of your room and for that reason what will happen is if you keep your alarm at a distance then uh, to switch it off you'll have to get out of the bed and once you are out of the bed you are awake okay next point number 6 consistent timing yes if you wake up today at 5 and tomorrow at 6:30 and uh, day after tomorrow at 4:30 that's not going to work and the same goes for going to bed also like if you go to bed today at 10 and tomorrow at 1 in the morning no that's not going to work that's going to be like that's not going to work okay so keep a consistent routine kind of thing like if you want to wake up at 5 uh, go to bed by 10 maybe and maintain the timing maintain the timing keep on going to bed and waking up every day at the same time okay yeah point number 7 for going to bed now what we need is we need to prepare ourselves so start preparing for bed 
from at least two hours prior to your desired bedtime like if you want to go to bed at uh, around uh, 10 maybe start preparing for it from 8 only finish your dinner do the dishes clean your room uh, arrange everything be in your pajamas like i am now in my pajamas I'm, i i just woke up and i'm shooting this now anyway so be in your pajamas do um, keep everything done and be free free of everything that okay now i can go to bed without any any kind of any tension or anything in my brain and i can sleep peacefully so that's important okay point eight do things in the morning point eight what, what i'm saying is you know sometimes we feel like oh let's watch another episode on netflix or maybe let's watch another video on youtube or let's check what notifications i have on facebook instagram whatsapp or blah 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 all the social networking sites that we have ditch all of them keep them for the morning wake up next morning and then read them the notifications are gonna stay notifications won't fly away so just do those things and whatever video is there on youtube obviously they are gonna stay over there okay so watch netflix youtube instagram facebook uh, whatsapp whatever the next day next morning no one's gonna stop you there's no law saying that you cannot tune into youtube or instagram in the morning good eighth prop eighth thing is i mean it was eight right so anyway nine sorry that was it so, now nine set multiple alarms okay like suppose if you set one alarm and then you switch it off and then sleep it's not gonna work it, it it's not gonna wake you up so do one thing set multiple alarms that suppose you uh, set an alarm at 5 a.m and you don't wake up or somehow you're so deeply asleep that you don't realize even you don't hear even the alarm rang so if you have another alarm at 5 5 another one at 5 10 you are definitely gonna hear at least one of them and that will help you and suppose you hear the first alarm only but you somehow manage to stay in bed even after that alarm is ringing 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 then what will happen is the second third fourth these alarms are gonna force you into getting up okay these are like these these will force you into these will push you like get up get up get up get up get up okay so set multiple alarms <laughs> next don't sleep under until it's night not under <laughs> sorry i mean until don't sleep until it's night don't go to bed for like uh, those afternoon naps or evening naps ditch those dump them forget about them they are bad for you why i'm telling you once you're tired after till the afternoon and you suddenly think of uh, taking an afternoon nap what happens is you get energized again so if you have a lot of energy you won't feel asleep you won't feel sleepy you won't fall asleep uh, at uh, 10 or 11 at night you will be energized and if you don't go to bed early then it's impossible for you to wake up early in the morning and it's also very unhealthy also so at least seven hours of sleep is required like doctors say eight hours but at least seven hours to try that okay so don't go to bed unless until it's din uh, it's night time okay after you have finished dinner and all the work and when you go to bed for good for like when you're going to bed at night then only go to bed at that time not before that next point point number 11 stop using phones laptops computers and don't watch tv after like um two hours prior to bedtime stop using those things shut down all the huge powerful lights in your room like led lamp and all okay so that your environment will be quiet cool calm and you will feel sleepy okay if your eyes are continuously staring at a screen then they won't feel tired they will be walking 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 and if they are walking you cannot sleep you cannot like go to bed like oh snap and i'm in bed no that cannot happen you cannot fall asleep like that so my next point is no caffeine post 6 pm till 6 pm drink coffee uh, cold coffee latte green tea tea whatever you want iced tea blah 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 whatever all those caffeine stuff whatever you drink regularly maybe or maybe whatever you want to drink but post 6 pm ditch them forget about them because they energize us they give us energy the our whole body will be energized and we cannot sleep when we have our whole body filled with energy okay so no coffee no caffeine post 6 pm
got that okay next point is point 30 keep your things ready for the next morning like suppose you want to go to swimming then before going to bed keep your swimsuit your everything your bag your full swimming bag ready in front of you near the bed so that when you wake up you wear your dress and in fact the dress which you will be wearing to go out keep that also in front of you like the moment you wake up you brush your teeth wash yourself and then you have everything ready in front of you and you you're good to go because what happens is if in the morning you wake up and see that you'll have to do a hell lot of things before starting whatever you wanted to do in the morning then it's uh, it's, it's kind of a, it kind of demoralizes us okay we don't want that so stay motivated do whatever is uh, necessary like pack your bags uh, prepare everything plan the night before keep everything planned okay next point point 14 yeah point 14 make plans with your fellow gym partner or jogger or swimmer or with a fellow uh, morning walker what will happen is suppose someday you feel like oh no today i'm feeling very tired i won't go then this thing will come to your mind that no i made a promise to this guy or to that girl that i'll be there at that time so i'll have to go i'll have to leave my bed and i'll and no matter even if i want to or not i will have to go so that's gonna help you okay that's gonna push you into doing it your commitment towards someone is gonna help you in keeping your commitment towards yourself okay next number 15 make your bed i know this sounds very stupid maybe but the thing is the theory behind this is that i've tried this and i i see that this has worked for me you know when you sleep you are you have been sleeping for six seven hours or eight hours maybe continuously you are on bed resting position your whole body your soul your organs they were all resting and suddenly when you wake up if you start jogging or walking out it's gonna be difficult for your body to get in touch with that okay so do one thing make your bed that's not a very tough work but still that's a bit work so your body will uh, get the news that okay it's time for me to start working so that's a um, easy way of starting a work that's like warm up for your bond like ringing the bell that dude now i'll start working and uh, now you're not sleeping anymore okay another reason why i'm telling you to make your bed the moment you wake up is according to indian uh, theory that uh, a messy bed attracts negative energy negativity and uh, uh, if you make your bed regularly then that will attract positivity and positive energy so do that and um, this will help you in like uh, some vastu thing is there so i really don't know exactly what happens but yeah there are things okay so next is point number 16 after you wake up, you brush your teeth, wash your face, splash, uh, splash it with water, drink water in empty stomach. Take a bottle of water, drink as much as you can and every day try to increase the water consumption. Okay. So what happens is your stomach was empty whole night. You, you stayed uh, without food, without taking food for 7-8 hours. So bile secretion uh, was stored in your, uh, the bile that secreted. It was stored in your stomach so the water will go inside and the, your, the bile will get diluted and it also helps in increasing your metabolism metabolic rate and that helps you to lose weight become slim become thin become fitter whatever so drink water and this is also good for your skin for your health for your uh, digestive system for your hair for your eyesight and many things like water has many good effects on our body so do that drink water drink at least try to drink one liter but if it won't be possible for you to start with one liter only so try to drink as much as you can and uh, drink water in empty stomach okay cool now number 17 is challenge yourself you know like we have this i bet you can't do that i bet you can't do that thing yeah so do one thing challenge yourself or bet someone that i will do this and if i win you'll have to give me this or like if you can do this and do the same for them also for your whoever it is your spouse your friends your family your parents your sister brother roommate whoever whatever doesn't matter who it is it's up to you your up to your convenient option but challenge them that dude we are gonna do this from tomorrow and whoever wins 
will get this so what will happen is if someday you feel like oh, i don't want to go then that thing will come to your mind that oh no if i don't go i lose and if i lose then i'll have to give that guy or girl that amount of money or like and if i win i'll get this i'll get that like shoes xbox or whatever you want okay so that will help you in okay i'm looking like i've grown spider rings on my hair i woke up like this now like i'm not a disney princess that i'll look my best when i wake up but anyway please ignore my looks please ignore my hair and um concentrate on these things these are gonna help you okay so challenge yourself bet like and when you complete it after a certain time then you'll be the winner you will get what you wanted okay so do this now that brings me to my point number 18 certain time i mentioned yeah that time period is no less than 21 days why i'm saying this because uh, some scientists and doctors uh, made some do, did some research and all and they found out that if a person continues doing something for at a stretch of 21 days then that thing that very thing becomes his or her habit then it won't be tough for you to do it from 22nd day on 22nd day you will be like yeah this is what i do this is my usual routine it won't be difficult for you then okay maybe you you won't need multiple alarms then so do it for at least 21 days and that goes for addiction also like if you want to uh, leave something like smoking drinking whatever then uh, try to stay away from addictive things for 21 days if you can do that then they say that if you can stay away from something for 21 days then you can stay away from it for the rest of your life so um yeah do that do this continuously for 21 days and don't ditch any day like before 21 days don't be like uh, don't say that i'm not going to do this i'm not going to do that no okay just keep this in your mind that you'll have to do this keep telling yourself that i need this if i need if i do this i'll get this this is and think of the benefits that you will have okay stay motivated stay focused now uh, these were my 18 points i think this will help you because these have helped many people i know and these have helped me also i was never a morning person but now i wake up at 4:45 every morning and oh yes why number 19 bonus tip <laughs> yeah okay suddenly this came to my mind um set your alarm 40 15 minutes prior to your desired time like i want to wake up i want to wake up at 5 so i generally set my alarm at 4:45 so when the alarm clock rings at 4:45 i hear this and i kind of think and start thinking that okay i'll have to get up now i'll have to do this i'll have to do that and those things actually help me in getting up um with a fresh mind fresh body okay and uh, that i think is necessary because the moment the alarm rings you may not be able to stand up like wow bring i'm awake no that that's very difficult so do one thing set your alarm 15 minutes prior to your desired wake up time and that will help you in waking up at the time you want okay so these are my um, 19 i should say 19 tips and tricks on waking up early in the morning these are definitely going to work and i guarantee you these are going to work so if you are new to my channel and my channel is anyway new so please do subscribe and i'll have to open my hair it's not opening anyway so please do subscribe and like the video if you think it's beneficial for you and do comment in the comment section if you found any of my tips useful and use them and after 21 days do report back if they worked for you okay i'll be very happy to know if i could help anyone hmm? so bye